Judge Bean Roy, the only law west of the Pecos. Oh, best bread pickup west of the Pecos, is it? Well, Mr. Dodge Ramrod from Detroit, I'm a charging you all with telling a whopper. And whopper telling's a hanging offense, mister. Oh, I'm sorry, son. I didn't mean to upset you. Tell you what, I'll give you a trial. Convince me that pickup's what you say, and I won't make a dodd swing out of you. Deputy, fetch that truck in here, pronto. Uh, so sorry, Judge, it's back in Detroit. They're making the announcement film for salesmen. Well, let's bug the action. Then I can weigh the evidence. An engine medicine man built me a bug you wouldn't believe. A TV mini monitor grafted into a live Texas rabbit. He's trained to follow my radioed voice commands. And by coincidence, he's in Detroit already. Detroit? Texas Rabbit? My office jack plaque. The award mailed from some Indian tribe. Oh, brother, have I been had. Good boy, Jack. They're a coming in. Well, hi. How long have you been here? Hey, stick around. We're going to make a really different kind of product announcement film. We have a real, live, honest-to-gosh Dodge salesman calling the shots from a salesman's point of view. And he's a darn good salesman. Here he is, Larry Lucas. He's with Butler Conti, Inc., the good guys in Lafayette, California. Larry's a combination salesman, sells Dodge trucks and cars. He says the truck sales are his second salary and the big factor in winning the Delta Grand Award all six times. Of his total sales for calendar 70, 38% were trucks and only 2% of those were fleet sales. That's Mr. Notech, a product planning executive. He lived with the new light duty project from day one. He's just the man to answer questions about the new pickups. Oh, by the way, the Dodge Regional Office put on a sort of sneak preview of the 72 models for the Dodge Truck Salesman's Club Larry belongs to. Photos gave the club members a quick look at the new look for custom, adventurer, adventurer sport, and the cool new SE. So, Larry came to Detroit equipped with some knowledge for a springboard anyway. And here we go. Mr. Lucas just opened this conference with a question about the new IFS. With the success that we achieved with the B model, we carried over this into the new conventional. It is the same type suspension? It is exactly the same. Exactly. Uh, many of the components are carryover, so to make it easier for the dealer to service the front end of the vehicle. The four-wheel drive is a carryover suspension with a leaf, leaf spring front and rear. On the interior, there's, here's where the greatest change has come about by incorporating curved side glass. We've developed the widest cab in the industry. With the lowering of the cab floor by an inch and a half and the eliminating the step wall, we've made it a lot easier for people to get in and out of it. And once they're there, with the repositioning of the controls, the steering column and wheel especially, we've established the best compromise between car and truck and we've come as close to passenger car type feel as we could without uh, compromising the function of it. What about the storage toolboxes? Are they strictly on the camper specials? Or are they no, no, they are not. They are on any 8-foot swept line model or the D2 165-inch wheelbase crew cab. So you've also extended the wheelbase 3 inches? We have extended the wheelbase on the short wheelbase models by 1 inch from 114 to 115 inches. On the 8-foot models, we've gone from 128 to 131. Two inches in the rear for increased CA, better load distribution. One inch was achieved by moving the front axle forward. And on the crew cab, another big item is we've lengthened the rear compartment of the vehicle by two inches, giving you more leg room and better ingress and egress. I think the biggest story that we have to tell this year is in the camper market, and that's with the new 9,000 and 10,000 pound GVW camper packages. 
Today, the, the industry only offers basically a 7,500 package, which gives you a uh, payload capacity of approximately 3,100 pounds. Oh, Mr. Notech, here's something from your latest memo. The new 9,000 package is unique on a three-quarter ton truck. Let's our 131-inch wheelbase swept line offer payload capacity of more than 4,600 pounds, which is? Which is more realistic of what is required with these large slide-in deluxe campers that we're finding on the market today. I understand we've really expanded our double wall body. Yes, we have. We will be offering double wall construction from front to rear. The hood inner panel, full roof inner panel. We have gone to full stamp doors, which gives much better door construction, sturdier, and does a lot for sealing of the cab. Have we done anything with the headliner inside the cab? The headliner was now part of the one-piece roof construction. It's a full steel panel. Do we have any new options this year? We have picked up cruise control, a new AM FM radio, power disc brakes, full-time power steering on all 4x2 and 4x4 models. Do we still offer a TAC as an option on our pickups? Yes, and a new uh, for Dodge only feature is uh, a clock option which goes into the panel where the TAC would have been located. The entire cluster can be removed by removing eight screws from the faceplate. The glove box also can be removed by taking out four screws and the air conditioner, heater, radio speaker can be easily serviced from this area. Firewall installation and floor mat installation standard on all models. We've added sound deadener to the inside of the door panels and with the use of the passenger car caliper type door latch we have created a door closing sound that's similar to a refrigerator door. Like real cool. And I have a key to that door for us. So let's get this show on the road in the new Adventurer SE. Boy, does this truck handle nice. You can sure feel the difference on that new front end and new power steering. This is one truck that would really pay you to get your customers behind the wheel. It handles and rides very similar to our B-Series, and yet it's got the heavy, solid feel of a Dodge truck. It's sure a lot smoother riding truck we've ever had. The new visibility with the curved side windows and the full back window is excellent. You sit higher in the truck, heck of a lot better visibility over the hood. The power steering it seems to be, feel a lot better. It it's seems to be a full-time power steering. Handles nicely in the corners. It's a real rich-looking grill. And all that sparkle is standard for 72. Bright grill and front bumper. The room in the engine compartment is fabulous for, for service, for doing anything you have to the engine. It gives us twice as much room as our old trucks. The jack's not sitting there in the middle of the engine compartment anymore on the side. It's, it's under the seat where it belongs and tied down tight. Body is a real solid body. It, the doors seem to close more like a passenger car. It's sealed real well. The interior is beautifully done. The headliner, the dash, the seats. The doors for getting in and out of the truck are a couple inches wider. They've got two, two stage door checks which hold the door open in either halfway or all the way. The cab is a lot easier getting in and out of because of the lower floor pan. The cargo light is real handy for night backing, for loading your truck, loading and unloading cargo. A real nice feature we've never had before, which is real important. The new wraparound tail lights look real nice. They, they give you good side visibility as well as they, they just look nice. The tailgate is full double wall, corrugated throughout, which makes it stronger, nicer looking, if nothing else. Just take a look at those double walls. <laughs> Too much for Jack. He signed off for the day, apparently. Yeah, that dumb bunny bombs out before the evidence is all in. Beautiful. Some break. A real cruncher. Sorry, Mac. I need this to see how Jack will get his. Heads for hash, tails for stew.
Quit stewing, Ramrod. Case dismissed. I saw all the evidence I could swallow long before Jack went out of his tree. Courts adjourned. Sorry I blew Jack's harebrained mind, good guys. Hope I didn't addle your pates. You'll know in a jiffy. Just advance the film and score.